another video. My name is Shannon and I'm with Health Team Advantage Living Plus. Today we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. So as 2020 comes to a close, you may be thinking about kind of your plans and your goals of what you want to do for the new year. And so today I'm going to share with you four different ways of how you could get started and be able to stick with your New Year's resolutions throughout the year. So my first tip I have for you is to start small. It may be tempting to start with a very large goal or New Year's resolution to start off the new year, but if you start off small and work your way up, you're more likely to succeed long term and be able to stick with it. So I encourage you to think about your goal and think about ways that you can kind of start small, whether it's week by week or even month by month, that can get you to your overall larger goal. The second tip that I have is incorporating some fun. If you're doing a goal maybe around increasing your physical activity or just have a goal to be um, healthier overall, trying to find ways to incorporate fun will allow you to want to stick with it long term. And it makes it more exciting. So find something you enjoy doing, maybe even um, have somebody do it with you, it can really help with um, making it more enjoyable. The third tip that I have is making sure your goals or your plans are realistic to you. Sometimes, you know, we can think of things that we want to do, but it may not be realistic for us. That doesn't mean you can't aim big for your goals, but finding something that's realistic for you is really important to consider. For example, if you have a really big goal to maybe save up some money or to um, achieve some weight loss, figuring out what could be a realistic way for you to achieve that. Going back to our starting small, that's a way that you can maybe take it week by week or even month by month of ways and small tasks of how you could achieve that goal. Last but not least, I have our fourth tip and that's finding an accountability partner. So find somebody you trust that you can share your goals with and ask them to keep you accountable for what you want to set your mind to or what your plan is. This person doesn't necessarily have to have the same resolution as you, but having an accountability partner can help you stick with your goals throughout the year. So there you have it. Four simple tips to get you started off for your New Year's resolutions and goals and helping stick with them throughout the year. So remember, start small, have some fun, make sure your goals are realistic, and have somebody to keep you accountable. Those four things will set you up for success for the next year. So I hope you enjoyed this information today and find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.